It's time for part four of the Funhouse Radio Grammy Red Carpet Special. Strike the pose. All the latest news and reviews straight from the red carpet, from glitz and glamour to the downright tragic. It's Funhouse Fashion. Oh, here we go, guys. We have definitely saved the best for last. It is our Grammys red carpet special. Of course, I'm still joined by Funhouse Fashionista Tanya Krupe, local expert. Yo, yo. She's great, guys. She really is great. Um, now, we have saved the best for last. Now, this is your last chance to jump onto our Facebook page and influence the show. Facebook.com forward slash Funhouse FM or just search Funhouse Radio on Facebook. We're also on Instagram at Funhouse Radio. All the looks are up there right now as we speak. Do you agree? Do you disagree with us? We'd love to hear from you. Okay, we're starting batch four with Charlie XCX. Who and what is she wearing? <laughs> so she's wearing mo- Moschino and it is a white penguin style tux tailored to the female body, um, complete with a ruffled shirt, vest, jacket and a pink bow tie. And she also has a light pink old Hollywood style fur wrap. I feel like this is a cry for attention. <laughs> No, I, you I, don't say, Christopher. I, I dare I say it. Mm. Uh, but I feel like she's a tortured soul and I feel like I want to give her a hug. Oh. And I want to say, Charlie, it's okay. You don't have to feel this way. You don't have to feel this way. You know, uh, there there is something Dolores Umbridge about this. There, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yes. I mean, it's scary. Like, yeah, it's, it's pink, a- but it's like... But it's white. It's, but it's, it's light pink. But it's it's it, but it's but scary. It's scary pink. It's it's scarier than if she was full goth black. Like it's just it's It would look better in black. It's I Dolores think. Umbridge. <laughs> it is, and I'm scared. Do you remember her um I don't want to hug her anymore. Her what, the um Australian awards that we did, what were they? The um The uh the Arias. The Arias, that's right. I'm like, oh, what are they called? <laughs> um do you remember her that dress? That Because trop- they that- are such an influential <laughs> show. How how dare you? How dare you? Forget the Arias. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Naughty. They, they had a total of 4.5 people watching. <laughs> the, the point five was somebody doing their homework while watching Someone, it. yeah, doing their homework. 4.5 viewers. Mm, not, not, mil- not, not millions. Not just Arias. Oh, they got a lot of work to do now. Charlie XCX. Anyway, yes. Um, I'm so fancy. No, you're not. No. Take a seat, child. <laughs> Take a seat, Charlie. You need to. You, you know what? You and your brother Pharrell Williams need to go sit in the corner, okay? Because Mama is tired. You're in trouble, okay? Mama's had a long day at the track. All right. You naughty children. Yeah, no, it just missed the mark for me. I'm not a fan. You know what? I do actually really want that fair rap. Like I'm obsessed with the rap, but. Where in the world, in her mind, does it go with that suit? Charlie XCX tries to be like Gaga in terms of I want to shock, I want to wow, I want to be different every time I'm seen. Unfortunately for Charlie, she never does it. But Well, another thing, she's not as popular and famous as Gaga. That's true. But besides that, she does it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Say what you want about Gaga. She she shocks and people, it's not everyone's taste. I get it. No. But you can always look at it and go, wow. Yeah. Like effort 10 plus. That's right. She goes all the way. She commits all the way. Yes. You know, this, it's like uninspired. I don't. Get it? What is she trying to prove? And I think it is the f- the fact that she is up and coming and young. It's kind of like take a seat, mm. like leave it to the pros. Yeah, watch the pros first, and then wait till you get there. Yeah, it's just odd. And what are, what are the shoes like? the The hemline of the pants are too big. They should have been shorter. Oh, terrible! And she's wearing uh, the two dollar pink slippers from um from you when know, she was five years old, the Asian grocery store. <laughs> I mean, what is she doing? She just looks tacky and it's gross. Not, no, and it's again, not interesting. We said this about her at the Arias. There's this great invention, okay? It has a handle. It has bristles. It's called a brush. Yes. Or a comb even. Yeah. Can we fix the hair? I think her eyebrows are the best thing about this um, whole ensemble. Next thing, <laughs> we're going to see her on, you know, um, the Guinness World Records. You know, she had a, h- a hive of huntsmen living in her hair. Oh, she never knew yuck. it. Oh, <laughs> yuck. 
Yeah, no, I just missed it. But some people liked this. Look, I don't, I don't understand it. Boom clap to the side, woman. <laughs> I'm on fire. You are. Good job. <laughs> I'm on fire. All right, we're gonna move on to. Oh. You know, I'm just. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna fight back the tears. <laughs> this woman is my. My everything. She is your everything. She's, She's my your, everything. Your hero. This your is idol. my hero, my idol. Fave singer of all time. <sighs> she, <sighs> Gwenny Gwen Gwen. <laughs> Gwen Stefani. She is wearing a Versace. Yes, Atelier Versace. Atelier Versace. So, she is wearing a black jumpsuit with curved asymmetrical strapless beaded bodice. Um, it's half nude, giving off a spiderweb look. It's fitted around her hips, loosely scrunched around the thighs and tight again around her calves and finishing just above the ankle. Okay, now you can speak. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if she's real. I know. Like, can, can a person be that perfect? She's just flawless. She's amazing. I mean, she... This is obsession. This is perfection, yeah? I mean, this is perfect. I mean, how can you even fault this? You can't. You can't. The workmanship on the outfit is amazing. She even tailored this different to the runway look. Did you see that? Yes. Like the pants were a looser fit. And this, the way she's she's told them to tighten it, amazing. Like, you know, she she's basically finished the look off for and them. And she's a designer, we've got to remember. That's right. She has her own label, Lamb. Which she does wear quite a lot. She does. But this time she went with Versace and, and you've got to it mix great. up. Their hair is beautiful. Oh, Makeup, amazing. Makeup, gorgeous. I mean, this woman's pushing 50. She's you know, just, she's you would never know three. it. You would, you would never, never know, it. know it. No surgery. You've got to give her that. I mean, she wears a lot of makeup like they all do. Of course. We'll give her that. But but you she, can see when they when they close up and interview her, you can see that she oh, hasn't had. Oh, she's got had, the wrinkles. Yeah. She's got the wrinkles. She's proud of them. She doesn't do the Botox. Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh, it's so refreshing. She's she obsessed. is gorgeous. Um, a comment that they made on Fashion Police that I found interesting was she should have swapped her performance outfit yes, and her red carpet yes. outfit. Yes and no. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree and, and I disagree. Yeah, because I, I'm the same. Both outfits were flawless. Both outfits were wow. So even if we were critiquing her performance outfit, I would say it's perfection. Same thing. Yeah, so I agree. Because like, they, they had the similar elements to them. Like they, yes. they married together quite nicely. So, yeah, she could have worn either one and it was still still amazing. But yeah, best gonna, dress I'm nominee. Best dress nominee. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you even? Is that even a question? I mean, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Look, I had to confirm it for people. You know that. I mean, she's just amazing. I love her. I, I love her. We could talk about her all night. And again, it's a fantastic segue because mm. Gwen mm. is it just in her prime constantly, and then we get to another singer who just doesn't know the meaning of enough. Yeah. Or it's, um, I've reached a certain age, maybe I should just, you know... Go the other way. Act it a little bit. It's the attention-seeking, you know what, Madonna. And she's wearing... She's in Givenchy Couture. All right. So, again, made for her specifically. So, it's... This is... Yeah, it was a bit tricky when I was trying to, you know, work out how to describe this uh-huh. one. It's it's a bit all over the place, but she's I'll give a, it a go. She's a woman of many talents. Oh, yes. And she has added Mexican bullfighter to her resume. <laughs> Crossed Moulin Rouge. Good on, good on you, Madonna. Mads. Madge. Good on you, Madge. I love you, Madge. All right, explain. So it's a black and light pink corset. So that's the base of it with a short skirt attached, um, strong lace shoulder pads, mm-hmm. um, a lace corset. Um, well, I already said that, didn't I? Um, with beanies. See, I was getting confused myself when I was trying <laughs> to describe it. Um, it boggles the mind. It does. It does. Um, she's... Paired them with fishnet stockings, um, thigh-high black boots, long black fingerless gloves, and a beret hat with a small veil. Underlay, underlay. There's a lot going on, isn't there? All right. Now, I know I've been building up to an awful critique. I'm going to cut a, a tiny bit of slack. Mm-hmm. I don't I, I don't loathe this. I no, don't, I, I don't either. I don't hate no. it. Like, I, I can see where... She was going with it. I can see what they were trying to do. Now, remember, this is the infamous, I mean, it swept the internet. She lifted up the back and her bare ass mm. was showing. So That's class right there. That is class. And how dare you call her attention seeking? <laughs> she is not, she's, how dare you? Listen, 
she missed the mark. She doesn't look good. I know she thinks she's still... She thinks it's 10 years ago. More. It, no, She no, thinks no. it's the 80s. Like, 10 years ago, she was still doing well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah, she does think it's the 90s or the 80s. But um, I wish she would do a Cher or a Bette Midler or a Barbara Streisand even. Okay, that's pushing it. But, like... I wish she would grow into her age yeah. and, and I wish she would embrace it. Like yeah. there's nothing wrong, Madonna, with standing in a ball gown and singing with a microphone. There's nothing wrong with no, that. No, no. It's not her style, but, but, but you, I know what you're saying. I think she still kills it. Like her performance, especially the opening intro, I was blown away. Like I thought that was the one of the best moments of the night. Yeah, the animation was great. What do you mean the animation? Like the video. And the, the video. The, the and then, but her dances, the way, you know, they choreographed it. Like, I thought that was killer. I mean, I'm not, I don't really but like then, her song. But then she got on and she flopped around the stage like a, like a, way, like a dolphin out of water. <laughs> but, I, but I appreciate her vision. So she's still a visionary. Yeah. She, you know, she, and I think she, she banks on having that legend status that yeah. she thinks that she can do whatever the hell she wants now. She hasn't had a big hit in a long time. And a long time. I'm saying she's trying to stay relevant, but doing it the wrong way. And I, I get where she was going with this outfit, but there's too much going on. It's yeah. too confusing. Um, it is costume-esque, which is fine. I yeah. don't have any issues with that. It's just too much. Can't see what the hell she was doing with it. Yeah. Um, and put it away, Madonna. Nobody wants to see your... 60-year-old ass. Yeah. No. You know, and then you're doing photo shoots showing your boobs. Look, they look great, but, you, I mean... Her boobs are popping out of this. I know. Talking, We've been talking about boobs all night, but... It was just too much. It's it's it actually screams desperation. Yeah, and I don't respect her for yeah, it. Like you said, if she if she embraced her age, you would respect her so much she more. She thinks she's pushing the envelope. She thinks nah. she's you know being cool. She's not. She it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It's like oh, I wish she would be. Elegant. She look there. Yeah, she looks at the Gagas and you know the Katy Perry and thinks competitive. Oh, you know, you know they're trying to be like me, but you know, but they're actually being more innovative than you are. You All know. Right. Now I have to move along because we're running out of time. Yeah. And the last one is. Okay, there is no bigger woman than this in, in music today, 2015. Tay Sway. Tay Sway. Taylor Swift in? Ali Saab. And it's a teal and peacock ombre coloured gown. Yep. Um, it's a high neck racer style um, with cut out straps. It's very difficult to describe this one. Yep. Um, it's got large pleats on the waist. Yep. It's a, got a short underskirt opening yep. to a floor length gown. And she's paired that with some a purple pop of colour in her shoes. Okay, I'm going to kick it off. Okay, go. I love it. <gasps> do you? Me too. I love it. I think she looks stylish. She's she is never going out of style. No, she's, she's never she's going out of style. She's pretty amazing. She is. I'm referencing her song, but um, <laughs> but. You know, we've seen. Remember the pajama jumpsuit? Oh God, help me, Jesus! Oh, yeah. remember the pajama I jumpsuit? About that. Okay, so she's come a long way. She she can she can go down the wrong path. I'm so glad she's growing yeah. into this icon status of making this huge statement. She looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. What's with the color of the shoes? Yes, I know. I I like them. I do. I just she just needed to wear them in an earring or have some a, a big ring of that same color just to tie it in, just to make it make sense. Because they're they're a bit random. Yeah, I like yes. If the earrings were the same color as the shoes, yeah, I reckon would Would've, be perfect. Yeah, that's right. She just yeah just needed to tie in, and that's or, her, and or, that's her stylist input. The stylist should have said to her, "We yeah, need to add I, in the purple." I know that they were trying to make it a little bit different, but. Or I would have liked basic shoes, the same colour as the yep, dress. Yeah, definitely could have done all that. All the same colour. Yep, because then she fine. could have used her earrings that she's wearing. Yep, yep, totally. I think that that could have worked really well. It would have, yeah. So I'm obsessed with this dress. This was one of my favourites. This favorites. dress is like, whoa. Isn't it amazing? I love the this straps a, up the top. Oh, This is a statement. Like, the, this is, uh, I am here and I'm ready. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just very, me. It's regal. It's regal. It's regal with a modern twist. Yeah. And just the the fabric is just amazing. I'd love to see that in person. I know. But, yeah, she nailed it's it. It's touchable. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. <laughs> I will call her Squishy and she will be mine. She will be my Squishy. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. I don't know why I went there. These things just, yeah, I don't know happen why I to went you, there. don't they? They do. I get taken over. But we're done. OMG. <laughs>
Ta- come to pick our faves and our worst. Okay, Tanya is um, putting her boxing gloves on right now yep. as we speak, <laughs> and um, I'm sharpening my claws <laughs> because Tanya and I, we're going to play a song, and at the other side of this song, we are coming back with the ultimate. We are c- crowning the best and the worst dress. Who could it possibly be? Play along with us. Facebook, we are Funhouse Radio. Search us. We should be the first that pops up. Also on Instagram, at Funhouse Radio. Who's your best and who's That's your right. worst? We want to know. See if it compares to us and um, you can play along at any time. I'd love to hear from you.